I'm Allison Galvin, Executive Director at Oregon Charter Academy. Hi, I'm Todd Schweitzer. I'm the Executive Director at Frontier Charter Academy. Both Allison Galvin and Todd Schweitzer are parents themselves and understand the stress and uncertainty that comes along with the pandemic. Add in a last minute transition back to online learning and many parents are scrambling to accommodate. So here are some ideas that'll hopefully help ease the transition back to temporary distance learning. There's a few tips and tricks that really help families set up uh, their student to have a successful online experience, including creating a designated learning space in their home, even if it's just a corner of a room, that they have that designated space, that that's where work gets done. Another thing, set a schedule. Whatever that schedule looks like for that household, having it be a consistent schedule. I know when my daughter was at home, you know, we said, okay, nine to three, that's our learning time. And don't forget about breaks. Younger child, children do not have the cognitive development to be able to, to focus on a task for a long periods of time. We really encourage building in multiple breaks. Like I, we even talk to families, set recess during your day, have recess, multiple recesses throughout your day and even call it that. If you've got a student who just isn't motivated. I think the, the, the best piece of advice is um, just <laughs> reassure them this is, this is temporary. Another thing that might help, connecting kids with a teacher or a counselor because relationships are beneficial. For special needs kids who may need more help focusing, consider doing schoolwork in smaller chunks and make use of rewards. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.